up for sale 1962 GMC panel truck. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the truck, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 62 GMC panel truck. It's the big boy. Finished in satin white with factory interior. It's powered by its original 305 V6 engine with the original two-barrel carb and the tag on it. Four-speed manual trans, and as always, you know, go around it, point out anything I see, fire it up, and then drive it. So, of course, we will uh, start her in the front. I, I love the combination. It's got this satin white, like a paint primer. You can leave it the way it is. It looks really cool. You paint it otherwise, if you're halfway there. Uh, it's got, like, a gloss white bumper on there, which actually kind of looks really cool with the uh, satin white. Uh, you see a couple marks on there, on the front bumper, of course. It's going to happen. But the bumper itself is actually in nice condition. Uh, trim, painted, looks very nice. And it's actually a nice, nice example of a panel truck. I mean, uh, body panel wise, I believe it's all original panels. And you'll see that as I go around it, uh, which is just kind of like that black one I had uh, a few months ago. And I love these trucks. I just, I just think they're the coolest thing. And to find them not beat up, not used and abused, and not molested is really cool. Um, the wood bed inside of it, oh my gosh, is that nice. But let me go ahead and pop the hood here for you. So light and easy to open up as well. Uh, there's your 305. Again, like I said, V6, which is pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. It got the factory GMC valve covers on it. There's your Holly 2 barrel with the tag on it. Again, something really cool there. You got the factory markings on the firewall still. A little bit of patina from the master cylinder that's original. I mean, just, just cool, cool stuff. All the system in here all looks super nice. Same deal over here as well. You see a couple more markings back there on the firewall. Cool, cool. Underhood, all original. Leave that open for now. Comes, Come back to it, we'll fire it up. And uh, you'll see it drive and then we'll get in for the driving. I love the GMC hubcaps, like I said, with the blue. It actually complements the car nice. Uh, I was told that the car, that the truck, was stored inside at a photography studio for almost 30 years, which is probably why the body's as nice as it is, the underneath is as nice as it is. It spent a lot of time indoor, not outdoor, you know, in the field, being worked on, used and abused, and then into the hands of somebody that chopped it up. Uh, but the tires are a little older. I mean, you see a little dryness. It just kind of goes with that, that classic original look of the truck uh, and again like look look at the nice fitment here all the way down and around it being original panels it's just super super cool stuff you see uh new jersey sticker 1987 cool to see that's still in there there's your gas tank down there where you fill her up right in there and another nice thing you'll see talking about you know preservation nice example of course, you know, a little patina in the doors, but like not worked. This is this is that that kind of champagne or silverish color that you get back in the day. Not worked, no bondo in there, all the way up and around. That's a nice example there, even even in that corner there. Um, it's got all that factory patina, I'm gonna call it factory, original patina style to it. And again, just like that, that 55, I had those same bucket seats in there they could quite honestly be original and uh, that, that that's cool to see uh the gmc panel down there you got the original style rubber mat in there for the four speed on the floor your little factory dash with the gauges a couple added gauges you know for quality assurance as you're going down the road go back all original looking not the net though I just kind of left it in there I thought it looked cool the beautiful wood tilt the seat forward you'll see that wood bed as you go back oh my gosh is this cool so solid the original metal back here on the seat backs as well another nice thing look at the the 
the rocker on that lip all the way back that's that's a nice example again what what I'm getting at is I'm talking about it it's got dual exhaust tips which are which are aftermarket actually it's true dual exhaust like a like a larger glass pack actually sounds relatively nice um, but again like I said it's satin you could uh, buff it and then paint it if you'd like. You could leave it the way it is. I would leave it the way it is. I like the all white, with the, especially with the blue. Got your extended bumper back here. I'm limited on room, so I'm gonna open the door as much as I can here. Cause I wanna show you, if I just unfocused it, give me a second. Door edge there. All the way up as I almost dropped my phone. This one I can open up all the way. All the under doors are rust free as well. Well, there's only two front doors, I guess. But here's the, uh, let, me, let me focus the camera. Give me a second. There we go, zoom out. There's that wood bed. This thing is solid. Really, really cool. Like I said, the, uh, or in regards to it being a nice solid example, uh, the underneath is, I'm gonna be honest, 99% rust free. And it's just super cool to see. The only couple of spots that I saw were actually, yeah, uh, under, under, under here in a very, insignificant spot probably from water kicking back but like the rockers all the way forward are all mint the inner rockers are mint the floors are mint the frame is mint it's just scaly surface rust but like solid as can be and again look at this close up here on this lower quarter that i have there's no bubbles and it sounds like metal and you can see on the lip there those little factory dimples that are in there has this milk truck look to it. I'd love to see a, a cow on the side. There's a little mark right there. Again, mint all the way down. Let me, let me lower this for you. Super, super impressive. Look at that door corner. That door corner is nice. Nice there as well. And all the way up. A couple little rips on this seat here. Uh, it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links in this video, or both links will be in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it out. 62 GMC panel, 305 V6, squeaky passenger door, again, fitment all the way. This is just super, super cool. But anyway, we're getting to the point of the video now where we are going to fire it up and then drive it. Thank you.
don't have to. Pick up some of the things that Jimmy found? No. No. He's not, there's the boat. That one had a, a Borg Warner in it. A Borg Warner. And the best of 